he was a really likable person. That uh, that that was his legacy. He'll go down as uh, one of the most. You know, he's you know, anytime he walked into an arena anywhere, people loved him and cheered him and you know wanted to shake his hand and get his autograph because he was tough. He was a good, skilled hockey player and he was a good guy. Hundreds of mourners packed the Windsor Christian Fellowship Friday morning to pay their final respects to one of the most beloved Detroit Red Wings, a blue-collar player who embodied the spirit of the city where he made his name. Bob Probert was a unique hockey player in person, and the former NHL Tough Guys funeral was true to form. Probert's casket was led by a procession of 54 motorcycles, with many of the riders wearing Red Wings and Chicago Blackhawks jerseys with his familiar number 24. Doug Gilmore, Darren McCarty, Ty Domi, Todd Gill, Dave Hutchison, Sheldon Kennedy, and Stu the Grim Reaper Grimson were among the attendees. Former teammate Steve Eiserman, now the GM of the Tampa Bay Lightning, spoke during the funeral that drew the hockey world's attention this week. You wanted to be around him, you wanted to help him, you wanted him to do well uh, because he was, a, he was a nice person. He took time to look you in the eye and talk and ask how you were doing. He'd come by and ask my wife and my children, spend a few minutes with them. He did those to all, to everyone, whether it was the guy that drives the Zamboni or sells hot dogs in the rink or, you know, any hockey fan. That's just the way he was. And when you hear the stories about it, it's uh, in there, people talking about him, and he had an impact on people just by being a good guy. For the London Free Press, I'm Ryan Pyatt.